If this community center wasn't here, there would be a loss of hope. The Carver Center is a hub in our community. The way Carver fulfills its mission is we're a community learning center. And we have three basic tenets that drive all that we do. We serve, we educate, and we empower Port Chester residents. If I ask the kids why the Carver Center is important to them, I think they would say that they have a safe place to go and people to talk to. Either the microcontroller on the inside or on the bottom, depending on where you want it. A lot of our kids come here just so that way they can have a place to stay sometimes. We have students who, after school, come here because there's nobody at home yet, a family member might be working. We have students who come here just to avoid kind of being around those negative areas of Port Chester, and they just want to be in a more positive space. If I haven't been at the Carver Center, I don't know where I would be right now. So many of our children have working parents, and if Carver Center weren't there hosting the after school program, they wouldn't have a safe place to be. If it wasn't for Carver, my mind, would not be in this, the state that it's in right now, school-wise. The other thing we do is empower people. We give them skills, we give them training, we help them hone their vision about what they want to be, where they want to go. When I'm here at Carver Center, I usually try to help out with homework, study time, tutoring, have one-on-one -on -one session with the kids, making sure everyone's doing what they're supposed to be doing um, grade-wise, school-wise, and just checking in on them, making sure everything's okay at home and with themselves. Our Carver Scholars Program provides teens with important support in the college application process. The best part of the Carver Center is that it's always here and it's always a place to go to for help. I think my mom would say it was a, a very big helping hand while she was at work. It was a very convenient place and reliable place that she can leave me and my sisters where she knows that they're going to get help with the homework, help with food and just in general a place to have shelter. The food pantry is very good. I love the food pantry. I love David in the food pantry. He has always helped everybody. We have the Carver Market. It's our model food pantry and families come to get a three-day supply of food. Maybe they're new in this country getting settled. Maybe they've just lost a job or they've lost their apartment. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? We want people to improve their lives. But well, sometimes it's very difficult for them because of uh, the language. I don't speak English perfectly. I have a very strong accent, but it's not an excuse. One of the programs we provide at Carver are citizenship classes. And I think those are so important because it's part of the reason we use the theme, When All Boats Rise. What we're trying to do is help people who want to be helped get ahead in their lives. So we have any number of local residents who aspire to become citizens of this country. 45% of Port Chester residents were born outside of the U.S. Carver Center's citizenship program has helped over 200 individuals gain U.S. citizenship through their test preparation support and citizenship instruction. Our point is to give people a leg up, take them beyond the neighborhood in which they grow up, show them what else is out there. I see the benefits and the need for a place like the Carver Center in Port Chester. More than 60% of our funding comes from individuals and foundations. We don't receive big government grants. We don't have any significant earned revenue sources. So we really depend on people in the community to support their neighbors. Why not help a community like Port Chester? Why not give to our community and really ensure that everyone has a place to go to that can provide such great resources and opportunities? 